Hi everyone, I'm Dilip and it's really nice to have you here. In this video, we will see how we can activate your Azure for Students voucher step by step. No university email needed, no credit card required. Now let's get started. First, you need a brand new email address. Outlook or Gmail is recommended. This email must not be associated with any existing Microsoft or Azure account. In this video, I'm going to use Outlook to create my brand new email address. So, to get started, let's search for Outlook. Here we can find the link and I'm going to click it. Alright, as you can see, now we are in the sign in page. Here I'm not going to sign into one of my accounts. I'm just going to click this create one button to create the account. After a few seconds, now it shows us about the account creation. Right, so first of all, to create your Microsoft account, they're asking for an email address. And here, we can select either Outlook or Hotmail. So I'm going to use the Outlook as it is. And for the new email, I'm going to include my email address like this. Now let's click the next button. All right, so to keep our account safe, they're asking for a password. So here you can enter whatever works for you and uh, just going to click the next button. So the next is about the, some details. They're asking about the country or the region and as well as the birthday. Right. So I'm going to use uh, my country as Sri Lanka and the birthday as this is. All right. Now we are good to go. So just going to click this next button all right here we can add our name the first name and the surname and i'm going to include mine let's click the next button okay here let's prove you are human right so they're asking whether you are a human or a robot to do this press and hold this button now it's done After a few seconds, they're asking for a face, fingerprint or pin. I'm going to just keep for now. After a few minutes, now we can see our newly created Outlook account. Here you can see our all received emails as well as the usual Outlook interface. There is a welcome message from the Outlook team as well. Okay, the next step. Now we need to go to the Azure for Students page. To do that, I'm going to copy and paste the link here with the new tab. You can find the link in the description below. After a few seconds, you can find the page like this. And uh, there are plenty of things that you can refer about what are the benefits, what services you can use and how these Azure for students work. Okay, one thing that I want to mention, if you already have a Microsoft account that hasn't been used for Azure, you are good to go. Otherwise, go ahead and create a new Microsoft account using that fresh email, not your university email. Since we created our email using Outlook, a Microsoft account has already been set up for us. So there is no need to create a new one separately. Okay, so if you create your account using other email provider like Gmail, you need to create a Microsoft account first, right? Otherwise, the, these next steps won't work. If you are using another service, just create it first and come back here. Okay, now I'm going to click this start free button. Now it's asking to sign into our Microsoft account. So you remember we already created our account using Outlook. I'm going back to my Outlook tab and uh, copy my email address and going to paste it here, right? So I'm going to use the newly created Outlook account that means the Microsoft account all right here I'm going to press the next button in few seconds you can find a form this is the academy verification form okay if you feel any technical issues you can try it this way as well right you can use incognito mode maybe in private mode inside your browser okay so then you can log into your Microsoft account using the private browser window it this helped avoid session issues during the sign up process. All right. 
So you are safe until now, up to now. Then let's continue filling out the form. In this academic verification page, they're asking you to enter your first name, last name, country, school name, date of birth, school email address, and the verification code. All right. So let's see one by one. Enter your first name, enter your last name, enter your country. Here, make sure to include the, the correct details so you will not face any issues in the future. All right. For the school name, include your university name. When you start by entering your university name, you can find the suggested name list. Here you can find your university. If there is no university available, then you can include it as here as well. Right. So the next one is your date of birth. And uh, the next one is school email address. Here you need to include the newly created email address, right? So not your actual university email because if you enter your actual school email address this won't work right so you can find the email address in the top right corner there you can copy and paste it here okay next one is the verification code probably you already have a verification code or let's say a voucher code right you can copy and paste it here or enter it manually Okay, after filled everything, they are now asking about to prove that whether we are human or a robot again. So we need to solve this puzzle now and I'm going to solve this now. After the verification complete, now it's safe to click this verify academic status button. This will take a few seconds to few minutes to confirm your account. And let's wait some time. All right. Now we can see a second form here. This form is to include some additional details like the phone number, address, city and the postal code. I'm going to include mine. Then let's select this checkbox. After everything's done, we can go ahead and click this sign up button. Now another window opened and it's asking to verify the address. So here everything works for me and we can click this use this address button or maybe click this sign up button all right after very few seconds it shows this animation for the loading and a few seconds after that it will open this page here we have to enable the multi-factor authentication to protect our account so it's much a recommend or let's say a required one from the Azure lately so to do that let's click this next button to protect our account we can either add an alternate email address or maybe a phone number. Here, I'm going to include my one of other email address and uh, I'm going to press this next button. I received a code to the email address I gave earlier in this previous step where we enable the multi-factor authentication, right? I'm going to include the code and press the next button. Okay, everything looks fine. And it opens a new page and here it tells us to wait until they confirming our information and uh, it will redirect. Yeah, now you can see it redirecting to the Azure portal. Now we can see our Azure account is successfully created and uh, it opened this education page. Here we can find available credits and the days until credit expires and the expiry date as well as the current costs that going with the current month right so you can uh, revisit to this page by searching for the education in the top search bar before that let's go to the azure portal dashboard that's the home page i'm going to click this top left corner navigation button and now we are on the home page so this is the usual home page of azure and uh, some of you already know about this user interface but some of you are very much new so the previously we saw that the education details that belongs to your account to check that again all you have to do is just search for the education in the top search bar then press enter now you can see everything about your education subscription that means the balance of your credits that's it you are ready to start building with azure for any questions or issues feel free to leave a comment below Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
Until then, keep your intelligence sharp.